so back to Bartlesville, when Elder Morris and I went and uh, checked out our apartment, a little messy, unfortunately, from our la the last elders. Um, ended up cleaning up within a couple hours and got our stuff situated and just started walking around, find, trying to find people to teach. Threw our bags over our shoulders, walked out the apartment, and I think we found a couple of people to talk to and obviously weren't interested. It was it felt like it was throwing me in the deep end. Um, but uh, and just interesting to see, still, still interesting to see how open people are to talking about religion, though, um, that even here in Salt Lake that um, you know, in a city like this where it's very, very Mormon dense, um, that I mean, you can try and stop somebody to talk about religions, but you're maybe going to catch them for two seconds, maybe. But out there, you can you could probably stop them for at least thirty seconds and and maybe ask them, uh, you know, what church they go to. That's always the biggest question: is what church do you go to? And you can talk about a little bit, talk about what they believe, and and segue into into the church, which is really cool. Other than for Bottlesville, uh, other than uh, um, those two big oil companies. The only other thing I could think of that, that you might see if you end up actually in Bartlesville itself is uh, I think the other big thing I remember is there's uh, these big cows. Uh, they're kind of plastered cows, huge big old monuments just kind of around the room, just kind of painted funny. They're kind of cool. After, after Bartlesville and being trained there, um, served for three and a half months there, I ended up being transferred to Rolla, Missouri. Um, and uh, I think probably the biggest thing Rawl is known for that I can think of is, is the college that's there. It's Missouri S&T, the Science and Technology School, um, home of the Bears, if I remember right. Um, there, there was a, a YSA, uh, I think it's a YSA group that's there now. Uh, my companion at the time, uh, he and I were able to help start the just a YSA little group. It was probably about six to ten YSA members that were there. Um, so that was kind of fun to start, help start that, and, and I think it's come up to a branch now. Um, so if you end up in Rolla, it's 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 fun. It's definitely a college. It's got a college feel to it. I mean, there's still still kind of a backroads feel that the whole mission has. That it's a you know back in the woods, you know, homey type of feel. But uh, that that's got a, a college town feel to it as well. Went to Rolla after that. Went to Stockton, Missouri, um, which biggest thing that's known for is, is uh, f fundamentalists, the uh, people who practice polygamy still. There's a big, what we call a ranch of people that, that, uh, that are polygamists. Um, there's, there are a few members that are on there that don't practice polygamy anymore, um, who through the, the First Presidency and the Quorum of the Twelve have, have uh, I guess, repented of that and changed their ways. And, and come over to the church that don't practice anymore, that still live in that area, um, use them as uh, as help to, to teach others, but um, very high, dense um, fundamentalists there who practice polygamy. They're still really good people, very, very good people, very friendly, but uh, there's that. But Stockton was really, really fun. Um, had a, probably the hardest transfer I had there. Was killing off a missionary, it was very checked out. Um, ready to go home. It was the last transfer, but got through it. Uh, it was a really good area. After Stockton, uh, went down to Springfield, Missouri. Um, it's very, very city-like. It reminded me of, of Salt Lake in a way. It was very, very busy, very Salt Lake-esque, but still had its, its Missouri charm. It's still, still back roads feel that everybody was kind of weird in their own way. After Springfield, I went down to Bentonville, Ar Arkansas, which I mentioned as far as Bentonville, Bentonville, excuse me, Bentonville goes is uh, home of home of Walmart, um, several 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 um, members who are involved in uh, Walmart corporations and all the 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 home office that's there in Bentonville as well as the stores that are there. Um, members who work there is anything from cart pushers and, and cashiers and stockers all the way up to the the marketing team and you know the. Um, CFOs, CEOs, all the way up there in the big wigs that there, there are members all the way through the lines uh, of Walmart. It was wonderful to see that even though people are up there, higher up in the companies, that, that they're still humble, that they still serve their one another, um, the camaraderie that's that's there. Not, not only in, uh, in Bentonville, but throughout the mission is, is wonderful to see.